Theater Camp is a film directed by Molly Gordon and Nick Leiberman. Based off of a short film with the same name, also directed by them. It stars Molly Gordon herself, along with Ben Platt, Jimmy Tatro, and a bunch of other musically inclined people. The framing device of this film is a mockumentary. Well, kind of. The reason I say that is because it's presented as such for the framing device, but doesn't really fully utilize strengths that a mockumentary can give to a film like this. It's a mockumentary in the sense where throughout the entire film, we'll see title cards kind of cluing us in on where the plot's going. And many times those title cards themselves are the punchline. But other than that, there's no real acknowledgement of this mockumentary other than the filming style that the camera utilizes. It's a lot of deadpan delivery, and then the camera kind of zooms in and focuses in on the person leaving this awkward silence, and that's kind of what the joke is. Very much in the style of The Office or a Christopher Guest film. The plot is fairly simple. This woman who started the theater camp is in a coma and her son, Jimmy Tatro, who has nothing to do with the theater camp, now has to run the entire thing. And that's definitely where a lot of the humor comes in from. There's one other character along with his that don't really know anything about theater and camp. And so they kind of serve as this audience surrogate for those of us myself included, that did not attend a theater camp. And so a lot of the humor is kind of poking fun at how ridiculous this all seems from someone on the outside. I think this is a perfectly adequate film. Was I laughing at every single joke? Absolutely not. And I don't even want to say it's because the jokes weren't funny. But I could just tell a lot of them were going over my head just because I didn't catch all the references of being a theater kid. And I don't want to frame that as a complaint against the movie. Because I do appreciate when movies can be so specific to a niche. And this film is clearly created by people passionate about that niche and for people within this world. So while the humor didn't always land, I think the parts that were sincere and heartwarming worked extremely well. There's a beautiful message here about people wanting to belong to something. And for a lot of these kids that don't fit into other circles. Theater camp is where they belong. And the film emphasizes that from the perspective of the kids. But mostly the people running the camp because those are the big name actors that need to be the star of this film. So full circle, you kind of see every side of it. The people growing up within it, the people who grew out of it, and how impactful this camp can be to their lives. Honestly, I thought the funniest parts were when it was just the kids doing their thing. Because with all the adults, it definitely feels like they are playing a character. Especially Jimmy Tatro. And if you like the character he kind of always plays, you'll like him in this one as well. But all the kids were kind of playing the straight man throughout this film. And I thought that was the funniest part, just watching them have to go through these ridiculous plot lines. The final production at the end of this film that they pull off is by far the funniest part of the entire movie. The songs that they write are very clever, and I think that's when it finally fully utilizes the form of a mockumentary to perform them But in. the nice part about it is that this is a really short film. It's hardly over 90 minutes, so even if you're not vibing with the entire thing, the ending came up real quick, and by that point, it felt like it was all worth it. So I wouldn't say this is a film you have to rush out to see in the theaters immediately. I'm sure it's just as enjoyable when it comes to streaming or on demand. But I am truly grateful that these types of films exist. I think sometimes films can be too broad and try to reach every single person that's watching. And this one feels like it's made for a very specific group. So even though I don't fall within that group, I very much appreciate the fact that there are going to be people who watch this and feel like it was made for them. So that's Theater Camp. Have you seen it? What do you think? Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you next time.